Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. We've known for a long time that one aspect of the aging process that affects memory loss is the decline in brain levels of phosphatidylserine, which is a phospholipid that's an important component of the outer skin of brain cells or the membrane of, of brain cells. But studies show that phosphatidylserine can be taken as a supplement as you get older to help maintain more youthful brain levels of phosphatidylserine, which normally accounts for five to 10% of all brain phospholipids. And that percentage should be maintained throughout the entire course of your life. Now, a comprehensive review article published in the Journal of Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience in 2022, examined the evidence related to phosphatidylserine supplementation in supporting brain function and impacting brain-related conditions, including memory loss problems. In the paper, the authors first explain the importance of phosphatidylserine in binding to various brain proteins, which in turn significantly impact brain function in many positive ways. They also show that abnormal regulation of phosphatidylserine in the brain is associated with various neurodegenerative conditions, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, major depressive disorder, stroke, and autism spectrum disorder, or disease rather. They go on to cite studies showing that phosphatidylserine supplementation has shown proven benefit in patients with Alzheimer's disease, major depressive disorder, Parkinson's disease, and people that have ADHD. Now, one of the benefits of phosphatidylserine supplementation is that it reduces neuroinflammation, which is a common finding in many neurodegenerative conditions. And very importantly, supplementation studies have shown that, that phosphatidylserine can improve cognitive impairment or memory loss caused by aging, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. The researchers cite several human clinical trials where phosphatidylserine supplementation has improved cognitive function in older and elderly patients. In their summary, they state, and I quote, phosphatidylserine can improve the cognitive function of the brain through different pathways. Now, experimentally, phosphatidylserine has also been shown to reduce the synthesis of beta amyloid plaque, which is a major finding or very common finding in Alzheimer's disease. And in Parkinson's disease patients, phosphatidylserine supplementation was shown to significantly ameliorate some important symptoms, including lack of motivation, anxiety, and affectivity. Reassuringly, clinical studies show that phosphatidylserine supplementation has no side effects and is very well tolerated. So what does all of this mean for us? Well, in my view, I think that once you reach age 50 or 55 at the latest, you should take a memory support supplement that contains phosphatidylserine, CDP-choline, Huperzine A, and Bacopa Monieri. These four natural agents work synergistically to maintain more youthful levels of the memory chemical acetylcholine. And they also inhibit age-related brain changes that are linked to various neurodegenerative diseases. Moreover, each of these ingredients has reversed various memory loss and cognitive decline uh, problems to a certain degree, to various degrees in patients that have memory loss problems, such as people with mild cognitive impairment, early stage Alzheimer's patients, and Parkinson's disease patients. As the researchers point out, phosphatidylserine supplementation can also be part of the adjunctive treatment for major depressive disorder and ADHD, as referenced in their 2020 review paper. But with respect to age-related memory loss problems, I wouldn't wait to develop memory loss issues before you start using a memory support supplement containing phosphatidylserine, CDP-choline, Huperzine A, and Bacopa Monieri. Taking a supplement like this after age 50 or at age 55 at the latest is one more proactive step you can take to guard against memory loss from developing and support other aspects of brain function as you age. So I've included the references for phosphatidylserine in the text below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.